My people didn't have churches, for instance, and they didn't have priests. Then one of the concepts you're not going to have is higher and lower. You might speak of central and more central, as in the mother is central to the family, or the grandmother is central to the clan. 80% of human life, if you look at Rakat, is ungendered. It, it, it's, it's filled with people who have no particular gender, but who are people doing people things. And, and I think that's a very strong reflection of Khoi culture. It's a bit difficult today to imagine, because today when you're born, the most important thing about you is that you're a man or a woman. But 500 years ago, if you were born into Khoi culture, the most important thing about you would be that you were born. <laughs> Stories and keep the ears messy, mess, but but uh, but but uh, under mess, a man, but a fro lacery as the fro prat, that's the man book on the fro of the fro, the man prat, that's the fro book on the man. We don't want to be controlled now these days. We end up also trying to control maybe, which is a, a, a balance or it's a way of actually empowering ourselves that we also have a voice. It's a thing of like speak out, talk about what's happening. And for me, it was my way of speaking out and actually speaking about it on stage. Oh,